Hi, I'm Sheriff Gary Hoffman. I want to welcome you to this week's Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. What an exciting time of our summer. Hopefully this year I'll get to see you at one of the local carnivals or the upcoming fair. This year again we'll be profiling the Herman Dolly Callahan case from the Queen Anne's County Fair. Hopefully you'll be able to join us for that episode. This is one cold case that's almost 20 years old that we definitely need the help of the community with. Funny thing is, as we're out there talking to people within the community, I have a feeling this is going to be one of those solvable cases. This week we have an exciting most wanted to bring to you. And again, thanks to all the help of the viewers, QAC TV, Queen Anne's County Commissioners, and everyone out there for all your tips, your support, and your help. This week we have a lot of captures to bring to you. But the interesting point about these captures, the bad guys saw themselves on QAC's most wanted, and a lot of them turned themselves in. Your police department serves you every day in a different way. The police are mighty handy in these circumstances. The life savings of many persons are still intact because of expert protection by their police. Jamia LaShawn Joe. She's five foot three inches tall, weighs about 126 pounds, and is an African American female. She's 34 years old. She has a warrant dated February the 28th, 2011 for theft. She can be identified by a scar on her left eye and tattoos on her hands, her arms, her left shoulder, both ankles, and her back. The last known address that we have on file is Hill Road in Hyattsville, Maryland. Michael Dion Speed. Mr. Speed is an African American male. He's five foot six inches tall and weighs about 150 pounds. He's 40 years old. He has a scar on his right arm and his forehead. He's likely to be living in the Baltimore area. He's wanted on a failing to appear on a forgery charge. If you've seen Michael Dion Speed, please contact our office as soon as possible. We've had a very busy week with arrests and captures. Just this week, after we profiled Richard Shearer, he was arrested in Hyattsville by the U.S. Park Police. Mr. Shearer was wanted on October 26th of 2011 for failing to appear for a forgery charge. Recently, we profiled Rachel Christina Ruxtella. Ms. Ruxtella was wanted on a controlled dangerous substance charge and an arrest warrant had been issued. A couple days after we profiled her picture, she was taken into custody. A couple of episodes ago, we profiled Queen Anne's County's deadbeat dads. And if you saw our last episode, we profiled one of our deadbeat moms amazingly and I give these guys so much credit. Some of our deadbeat dads actually took the time and did the right thing and went and paid their delinquency so they could actually have those warrants removed. However, one guy, Josh Turner, I guess he doesn't watch Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted, Mr. Turner was actually picked up and arrested at a gas station down in Thompson Creek. This guy was also wanted on a fugitive warrant from Delaware, Jacob Scalette. This guy had multiple warrants on file. And since May, we've profiled him twice on Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted show. He was wanted for burglary, theft, forgery. His family recently posted a $10,000 bond, and he was transferred then to the state of Delaware. Throughout the episode, I've been smiling, and this is one of those things where a picture is worth a thousand words. Richard Liverly came into our office and turned himself in. This is one situation where this guy did not like the pictures, that were profiled on Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. We're glad he did the right thing and turned himself in. Elwood Andrew Vini Jr. He's wanted on failing to appear in court, which has created two warrants being issued for his arrest. He also goes by the name of Tony Chris Vini. He's a 32-year-old African-American male. He's five foot nine inches tall and weighs about 195 pounds. Several tattoos on his neck, his chest, and his right arm. His last known address is Anglesia Street in Baltimore, Maryland. If you've seen or have information on Elwood Andrew Vini Jr., please contact our office or local authorities as soon as possible. Danielle Holster Rodriguez. She's a 36-year-old white female. She's five foot six inches tall and weighs about 200 pounds. She has blonde hair and blue eyes. She's wanted on an arrest warrant for controlled dangerous substance charges, possession, and also serious traffic charges. If you've seen Danielle Rodriguez, please contact local authorities as soon as possible. 
The last known address that we have on file for her is Lansing Road in Glen Burnie, Maryland. I want to take this time to thank all of our viewers again on Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted, all of our viewers on QAC TV, and those that view us on YouTube. Look at us on Facebook. Thank you for keeping Queen Anne's County a much safer place. I want to also say, hopefully this year I'll get to see most of you at the upcoming fairs and carnivals. If you get a chance, stop by any of the Office of the Sheriff booths, grab some information, say hello to the wonderful staff that's working out there for you in Queen Anne's County, keeping all of us safe. And I want to let you know from our staff to you all in the community, we appreciate working for you and we enjoy serving all the citizens of Queen Anne's County. If you have any information about these wanted people or unsolved cases, please contact the Queen Anne's County Sheriff's Office at 410-758-0770 or email us at sheriffinfo at qac.org. We also recommend you follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. With the tips we get from the viewers, we're hoping that some of the Queen Anne's County's most wanted get to experience this.